This is VOA News. I'm Marissa Melton. An Italian tourist was killed and five people were wounded in a car ramming in Tel Aviv on Friday that came hours after two Israeli sisters were killed in a shooting attack in the occupied West Bank, adding to heightened Israeli-Palestinian tensions. Reuters' Edward Baran reports. An Italian tourist was killed and five people were wounded in a car ramming in Israel on Friday. A car plowed into a group on a street near a popular bike and walking path on a Tel Aviv promenade. The driver was shot dead by a nearby police officer when he tried to pull a gun, police said. American tourist Spencer saw some of what happened. We heard gunfire. We saw shots and then we saw people sprinting across the street. And then we heard sirens and we decided it was time to get out of here. Yeah. An Israeli security source identified the assailant as an Arab citizen of Israel from the town of Kufa Qasim. The Mag and David Adam ambulance service said the victims were all foreign tourists. Reuters Edward Baran reporting more than 30 children were reunited with their families in Ukraine this weekend after a long operation to bring them back home from Russia or Russia-occupied Crimea, where they'd been taken from areas occupied by Russian forces during the war. Mothers hugged sons and daughters as they crossed the border from Belarus into Ukraine Friday after a complex rescue mission involving travel across four countries. Kyiv estimates nearly 19,500 children have been taken to Russia or Russian-occupied Crimea since Moscow invaded in February of last year in what uh, Ukraine condemns as illegal deportations. You can kind of find more on that story and all the stories we're covering at our website, voanews.com. This is VOA News. Religious scholars in Afghanistan criticizing the ban on female education have prompted a warning from a Taliban minister against rebellion. AP correspondent Karen Chamas. Two religious scholars who are well known within Afghanistan said that authorities should reconsider their decision. Under the Taliban's rule, girls cannot go to school beyond sixth grade in Afghanistan and women are also banned from universities as well as most forms of employment. One scholar, Abdul Rahman Abid, said institutions should readmit girls and women through separate classes, hiring female teachers, staggering timetables and even building new facilities. He also said knowledge is obligatory in Islam for men and women and Islam allows women to study. I'm Karen Chamas. There's confusion over the rules surrounding an abortion drug with contradictory rulings from two different courts. AP correspondent Julie Walker has more. For now, that pill, Mifepristone, approved by the FDA 23 years ago, is still legal and available. But Angela vasquez Giro with NARAL Pro-Choice America says the rulings cause chaos and confusion. Even if Mifepristone is legal today, we're going to start hearing stories about how people aren't dispensing because they're confused and afraid. A Texas federal judge Friday halted the FDA's approval of Mifepristone. Planned Parenthood President Alexis McGill Johnson. This judge thought he had the power to uh, to overrule the FDA, and um, we need to be incredibly concerned. Then a Washington state federal judge protected it. Carol Tobias is president, National Right to Life Committee. It is not as safe as abortion proponents are claiming. All agree the future of the abortion drug likely rests in the hands of the Supreme Court. I'm Julie Walker. The Biden administration next week will begin testing faster asylum screenings for migrants caught crossing the U.S.-Mexico border illegally. This according to the Department of Homeland Security on Saturday. This is part of preparations for the end of COVID-19 border restrictions in May. A U.S. Homeland Security spokeswoman said U.S. asylum officers will conduct initial asylum screenings for a small number of migrants within days while they remain in the custody of border authorities. She he said interviewees will have access to legal counsel during the screenings. California, California officials say they want federal disaster relief for the state's salmon fishing industry after the 2023 fishing season for fall run Chinook or King salmon was closed for much of the West Coast. The efforts announced Friday come a day after the Pacific Fishery Management Council unanimously approved the closure of the 2023 season for all commercial and most recreational fishing of the fish along the coast from northern Oregon to the California border. Marissa Melton, VOA News.